Hmm? Oh, come on. Well, I work a full-time job. This is my hobby. No. No, I'm not going to let the frickin' algorithm control my life. <sighs> oh, who am I kidding? I've been stuck writing this script for a month now and I haven't gotten any closer. I know, I'll do a weird rant thing. That'll be sure to clear my head and please the algorithm at the same time. So, the thing about context is that it can change what a word means. This happens at several levels. Here, let me show you what I mean. What do I mean when I say the word blue? There's lots of ways that that word can be interpreted. Uh, what shade of blue? Am I talking about all the shades or am I just talking about a specific shade that's called blue? Uh, how do I make sure that we're on the same page? Do I whip out the spectrometer and measure the wavelength of color? Do I go into an image editing program and type in a specific formula to get my shade? And if so, which formula? If we're talking about it being displayed on the web, I'm probably talking about RGB, HSL, or HSV. If we're talking about print, we're talking CMYK. Or maybe we're talking about a specific blue that should appear in a web browser. Blue is an accepted keyword in browsers that is representative of a specific hexadecimal value that can tell the browser what color to render an element without needing to download an image. Or maybe I'm talking about navy blue, or dark blue, or ready to fire on anything that's blue, hedgehog blue that is. But all of that is assuming a few things. You're looking at that color of blue using a monitor, and I doubt that your monitor is going to be set up exactly the same way as my monitor. The way that your lights are set up in your room is going to affect the way that blue looks too. For instance, if my blue is under this color, your blue would look different if it looked under this lighting, or this lighting, or this lighting. So, now are we talking about the specific shade of blue that I meant to display, or the one that we actually see when it hits our eye? Ah, but I think I've just made a fatal mistake. What if I wasn't talking about color? What if I was talking about mood? I feel blue. Or, Speaking of, blues is a genre of music. Or what if I'm talking about blue from the movie Old School? Or blue from Blue's Clues? Or maybe blue is my pet name for something, an in-joke me and my friends get, but as soon as someone else outside of that group hears it, they have no idea what I'm talking about. So they just reach for the nearest definition that they can think of with the current context. Me just saying blue doesn't tell you about any of that. But the surrounding context clues do. So, when I just say blue, are we talking about design work for web or print, music, character, or something else entirely? Unless I put the work in to establish that context, the mind of the person that I'm talking to fills in the blanks. What you hope they would say is, hey, what are you talking about? Why are you just saying blue out of nowhere? If this were a YouTube comment, though. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry, were you expecting me to have an example of what that comment would even look like? Eh, maybe next time. But the point is, is that if I've established what I mean when I say blue, it still ends up being a form of shorthand, unless we've established that our monitors and lighting are set up the same way. Or we're just looking at the same picture in the same room. Blue ends up a form of shorthand. We both kind of get what I mean when I say blue, but unless we're taking the effort to establish that we're looking at the same image under the same conditions, we might mean completely different things and the nuances are lost. So now let's replace blue with something else. Um, say, all cops are bad. If 
You're in on the particulars of what this phrase means. It's a useful shorthand to indicate your position on a variety of subjects. If not, well, you can probably guess how that phrase or its more identifiable but not content-friendly permutation can be interpreted. Now, I've brought the subject up. You probably want to hear my position on that phrase. Um, and my point is that I don't need to tell you what you feel right now just by me bringing it up is indicative of my point. It's a shorthand, and shorthands need explanation for people that are not already in the know to be able to get it. Now, what about the phrase... Right, but you have these corporations, right? The idea that a corporation has now become what is known as a human being in the United States. That's a shorthand. It isn't literally meant that a corporate entity has all of the rights as a person, but in that context, very specific rights are being talked about. But if you don't know about or don't care about the nuances behind the shorthand because you're looking for a phrase to be able to dunk on somebody for being technically incorrect about it, you could reply... Corporation uh, is not a human being. That is no, absurd no, 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 no. talking no, about. Corporations not, have not, certain legal thing. rights, okay? Yes, Some that yes. have been afforded to humans, but like the, yes. the, 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 um, the extremely loaded corporations are treated as human beings is not true, but okay. Wow, it's almost like they're not speaking the same language here, isn't it? It's as if he thinks when that, when the phrase... The corporation has now become what is known as a human being. ...is spoken, it is meant literally when it is absolutely not. It doesn't mean corporations have what we've culturally defined as human rights. It means that we're talking about how if corporations have the right to free speech because spending money is speech, then since they have more money, they have a stronger right to speech than an ordinary person. Destiny knows this. He's approached the conversation knowing that that is a thing, but he rejects the shorthand. He's not approaching the conversation with the same context as the serfs. And since they're not in the same context when approaching the conversation, they'll both interpret the same phrase differently. And the nuances of each phrase is going to be rather particular to each of them. So in this case, the only way to know what I mean when I say words is to make sure that we're both approaching the same subject in the same way and that we both have compatible definitions for our shorthand. Or else we're going to be spending the entire time defining things rather than getting down to the nitty gritty. So it can be useful if you're not sure if the person you're talking to is on the same page to speak in raw ideas and not shorthand. And then use the shorthand after you've already defined it so that it can be used later. That's all I had. Like, subscribe, comment, all that jazz. Hope you enjoyed. See you later. I, I have never <laughs> heard of anybody refer to a sock dem as not, as not liberal. Sure, but I guess I might be the first, because yeah, that's, I, and especially people on the left would, would define it as, as such, right? I thought lefty meant anti-liberal. Sock dems are part of the DSA? Is that true?